A couple of months ago, I helped DM Scott lay out the advantage cards for his Easy D6 role-playing game, and he sent me a deck of them. I had really been looking forward to seeing how they turned out in the flesh, as it's the first time I ever wear on print-on-demand cards. So here they are, a 54 card deck in a neat plastic case. The cards are poker sized and gloss finished, and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Each of these cards represents a small boost your adventurer gets as they advance in their career. They're not skills or abilities, but instead they let you do things more awesomely. In most cases they give you a boon or a reroll once per session for a specific type of dice roll, but others can give you extra karma, bonus hero die, or let you do uh, other things. Let's take a quick look at the instructions and see how they work. Oh, what's this down here? I know this guy! Joking aside, quick shout out to Meredith from Scatter Terrain who designed the pattern at the back of the cards and spell check the whole thing. Okay, so starting adventurers don't start out with any cards, but when they have a few sessions under their belt, they gain their first one. Let's say I'm playing my rascal, Sebastian Gustavus Vasile Alexander Bonaparte Saint Stephen III, and I've just hit my first milestone, so I get my first card. As a rebel rouser, you can decide how frequently this happens. You could do it every session, every other session, or have it completely tied to your story. To pick your card, you draw 5 from the deck, and pick one. Now, some of the cards I drew are restricted. One can only be used by a brute, and the other one is only for wardens, so I can't pick those. It's possible to draw a whole hand you can't use, but in that case you just discard them and draw 5 new ones. From the cards I have left, I pick the one that lets me do an extra move once per session, so I can use that in my upcoming games. Time passes and I hit my second milestone, so now I get to keep two cards. The process is the same. However, this time I draw a special card. I take a note that I will start my next session with extra karma and draw another card. Now, I can choose to keep my old card and take a new one, but that reroll on melee and the reroll for critical hits is looking real good, so I drop the movement card and take those instead. The maximum number of cards you can keep depends on your rebel rouser. DM Scotty suggests a maximum of 3 for most games, though you can go up to 6 if you really want a high-powered epic level game. If you like easy 6 but you really want some kind of leveling, these cards give you neat edges without being overpowered. Unlike most leveling systems, the imbalance between experienced and inexperienced adventurers isn't so great that they can't play together. If you're interested in this deck, you can find an affiliate link to Drive to RPG in the video description. Also, link is a video where I explain how I lay out the cards in Scribus for uh, print and play. But I might make a shorter video showing specifically how to lay out cards for print on demand soon, if you people are interested. Now, off you go, and don't roll a one. Bye!